When asked about their thoughts on daylight saving time, some people said they would prefer to have standard time all year round. It's the na nature of winter that we have less and less sunshine. Uh, but I'd rather have more sunshine at the end of the day, daylight, than at the beginning. Um, it seems kind of natural to wake up and see the sunrise. Uh, and we're taking it away from, you know, it starts to get dark by 4, 4.15, etc. I prefer to have that extra light at the end of the day. Some people like to credit Benjamin Franklin as the inventor of daylight saving time when he wrote in a 1784 essay about saving candles and saying, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. But that was meant more of satire than a serious consideration. Daylight saving time didn't become standard in the U.S. until the passage of the Uniform Time Act of 1966, which mandated standard time across the country within established time zones. It stated that clocks would advance one hour at 2 a.m. on the last Sunday in April and turn back one hour at 2 a.m. on the last Sunday in October. This year, clocks fall back one hour this Sunday, November 7th. Well, I'm always a uh, morning person anyways, uh, so it doesn't really phase me too much. The darkness at uh, early too gets, gets to me a little bit, um, but I mean, we're from New England, so. It is what it is, you know. I have a tr have trouble with the time change because it's dark when I leave work and it's often dark when I go to work in the morning. One Arlington resident said that getting rid of daylight saving time would not necessarily solve the problem of little daylight. It's hard to say that that would be a preference because that means it just keeps getting darker in the mornings as well. Uh, so. I guess I wouldn't necessarily um, vote for a change.